my kind of vibe, but you play this too much. So I kind of outgrown it. That's why it has a comparatively lower rating. Taking over my mind, over my mind, yeah. <laughs> I like the beginning and the beat. The chorus is what makes me like a song but I like everything besides the chorus here. It's not because it's bad, it's just something I wouldn't like. I love the bridge and the dance break kind of beat at the end. Overall, good song. <laughs> I like the beat drop and the chorus in general. There are some parts I think are too messy. But it's the kind of song I'd love after a few listens. The rap is really catchy though. I love the piano intro and outro. Reminds me of Twice is the best thing I ever did. It's a nice song. I love slow songs like this. The rap really suits and enriches the song. I love the bridge. I think it's the best part of the song. Still I don't think it's a song I'd listen to. <laughs> this is such a good song. The only thing I don't like is the sudden change in beat in the chorus. But it's fine since it changes to the original beat. The more I listen to it, the more it grows on it, and by that, I mean the sudden beat change. Maybe I'll like it in the future. The high note though. I love the vocals, the rap, the rhythm and the chorus. This is the kind of song that would give me goosebumps. The vocals are on a higher note which I love, and paired with the deep raps is Chef's Kiss. This is the kind of song that would make me stan. I love the beat in the intro and outro and how they start off soft. I find the chorus a bit messy so I don't like it as much as the rest of the song. The rap is so good though. He's not just singing fast, he puts some energy into it, because some rappers just sing fast and call it a rap, while he actually does a great rap. I love how they used a higher pitch for the bridge and then switched to the low pitch rap. Oof. Chef's kiss. All the gossips, all the guests writing, no more infective to me, no more seat <laughs> You've played this song too many times. I love the pre-chorus and the build-up to the chorus. The chorus is so catchy and I love the addition of the high note. It really gives me goosebumps. The raps in this song is actually very good. It's the kind of raps I love. Reminds me of older K-pop songs. It has a vibe that makes you wanna get up and dance. <laughs> Again the intro is amazing. I love how they start the song with a softer voice and then increase it from there. Again their raps. You've played this song a lot too. Their songs in general hype me up. The second verse is so good. Single handedly made me go crazy. Oh my god I love this song. The pre-chorus was so soft and soothing and then that beat drop. Actual goosebumps. I love these kinds of songs where the chorus just gives you a pleasant surprise. And then the raps were perfectly complementing the song. Added to my Spotify playlist. The beginning was a bit cringe. Tulips, your lips. This is a song I'd most associate with 2016 K-pop vibe. I don't like this song a lot. Pre-chorus is the best part of the song. The chorus grew a bit on me the more I heard it. Got go, I'm changed. Can we take a ride? Hey, hey. Baby, come on to my side. I like some parts of this song, but I don't like some other parts too. 
so much confusion. I don't know whether I can say if I like it or not, so I'll give it a middle rate. The tune in the beginning reminds me of the typical cowboy theme but sophisticated. I love the chorus. It's so good. The bridge is amazing too. The beat is very catchy. My kind of vibe. I love the chorus. The pre-chorus is good as well. The vocals and the beat drop are so good. The flow was a bit weird. I got confused about which part was the chorus and which part was the pre-chorus. The overall song is so good though. I love the soothing vibe to it. Not my kind of song. I wish they carried out the soothing vibe throughout the song. The rap perfectly fits the song, and it's my favorite part of the song. I love their vocals in the beginning. It reminds me of R&B artists. It's a very perky and feel-good song, but I like depression. It's still a good song nonetheless. Okay, let me clarify that my sister thought JT and Marcus was a solo artist, so she written this in the perspective of a solo artist, an IDK which member she talked about here. I changed his today to talk about them as a group. So anyways, she said, they have vocals that are similar to Gaho and I love it. It has an 80s disco tune which is odd but works. The verses are too short, but that bridge though. It's the best bridge on this list so far. Overall a very soothing song, but I love the latter half of the song more. I didn't like the song right off the bat. Kind of reminds me of second gen K-pop groups. It's so soothing. I love this song. It's that kind of calming song I love. I can imagine myself looking at some beautiful scenery, listening to this and getting goosebumps. Added this to my playlist. <laughs> The beginning gives me anime vibes. It reminds me of another song, an English one I mean. I can't remember which. It's okay. You play it too much. Oh, 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 